Authority, truth can set you free. It's beer o'clock from the Struce Brewers. We have a bottle of their Cuvée Delphine coming in. 11% ABV, and I'm going to tell you this now, this is the 2013 bottle of this beer, okay, um, some people might say why is this not 13%, which are new ones are 13%, I think it fluctuates every year, but this is the, the um, basically the, the 2013 bottle, um, this was gladly sent in to me by um, Joe Buys from Joe's Beer Reviews, glad he sent this to me. So, without further ado, let's crack it open. And let's get it into a glass. Into my oversized glass here. Here we go. Um, whoa! So, he's black as the ace of spades, there's a little head, I, I weren't expecting to get a head out of this to be honest. Um, very little head, let's get the aromas. Oh my word. Dark chocolate, caramels. There's some, there's some spice in there, but it's really, really dark chocolate. Roast malts. I tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of, I've been to like the Link Chocolate Factory in Cologne. I've also been to like some of these chocolate places in Belgium, these chocolatiers, and it smells like you walked into one. Oh my god, it's so so chocolatey. I mean, what I have actually brought out with me, I brought the thermometer with me. Okay, give you an idea of you know what to sort of um, pull out a beer like this. So this one here, as you can see, I'm pulling it out about. It's about nine, 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 just over nine degrees I've pulled it out at. Okay, it's so 11% beer, and hopefully as it warms up, it's gonna get a little bit better. But that gives you an idea of um, how I like to pull out the beers. So usually sort of degree, degree, de degree and a half less than sort of the ABV. So this is 11%, so I've got this out at like um, nine and a half, might as well say. Look at the way that laces that glass. Oh my word. Well, I've got a right oversized glass for this to be, to be honest because I knew this was gonna be good. This is barrel aged. Now, what it actually does say on the on the on the bottle is black Albert barrel aged. So I couldn't find out much about this, but I presume that this beer has been um, aged in the, the same barrels that the Black Albert has come out of, which is Black Albert says stout. So I'm starting to think to myself that um, <coughs> the the beer has, has, has literally then been, this beer has then been put into the, the, the barrels of Black Albert um, and uh, fermented it in for a while. That's the only thing I can think what this on the side says, you know. Um, Black Albert 4R barrel aged. Um, don't know. So the artwork on here, the truth can set you free. That's actually um, produced by um, Delphine Bowl, hence the name Cuvée Delphine. Um, so without further ado, it's, it's, just, it's a bit more tasting of this. Oh, it's really, really good. Really, really good fine beer this is. Now this, 
this chocolate hits you there's not a lot of carbonation there but you can feel a little bit of carbonation pricking across your tongue all right and as it's dancing across your tongue you get this bitterness at the back end and the drop the licorice the licorice drop you get at the back end as well which is the sort of the flemish the dutch the belgium licorice they have in a lot of bars um Struis brewers you know they just produce a great beer you know if you sort of look at um Struis brewers and what they stand for um believe it or not you know um they stand for um, creativity, innovation, quality, sustainability, and friendship. You know, they're really, really passionate, Struis. Um, 2001 was when they started developing the beers. And, and I can't thank um, Joe enough for introducing me to this brewery. It's fantastic. Oh, and this beer is what a great beer. What a great beer to be sipping. It doesn't even feel like it's 11%, believe it or not. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. It feels like it's just got 5% beer. The, the alcohol is so well hidden. It's so clever how they do this. I can't thank you enough for this one. Now, believe it or not, this beer has been in the in the, in the top two hundred. Now, um, since practically it was first brewed, it was first brewed in two thousand and eight. Believe it or not, and since two thousand and nine, this beer has been in the top two hundred beers of the UK. You know, that's some achievement when you think about it. Now, these. These people from Struis, they certainly know how to brew good, good beer. And it's great. It really is great. What a beer. What a beer. You know, it's it's, it's just the flavours that, that, that are coming through on this. It's unbelievable. You know, dark, dark chocolate, caramels, vanillas. You know, I'm starting to get vanillas come through. Is it starting to warm up? Getting vanillas come through, which is from the tannins on the barrels. Absolutely awesome. So, you know, this, you know, like, is this beer's warming up? I mean, we'll take a, we'll take a reading just to sort of show you. You know, now this beer is up to like, might as well say 11, 11 degrees. And this is now you're starting to get more flavours developing this beer, hence the vanillas starting to come through and the, and the smokiness from the tannins on the barrel. So really to sort of give you some of your novices an idea of how a beer warms up how the flavors develop you know so literally we started off at 9.5 and then now you know it's sort of, it's, it's it's a degree more um 10.7 it was 10.9 a minute ago it's quite cold tonight in the uk but it goes to show how, how a degree can make a massive, massive difference in a beer. And how it how it tastes. So my my, my um, advice to anyone is always pull a beer. Um, always pull a beer um, to drink. Possibly like one or two degrees lower 
than what the actually ABV of the beer is and let it develop as you drink it hence what we're doing here now um, swell the beer in a glass like this will help it um, warm up as it gets warmer like you see the flavours start coming through now where that chocolate was really really bitter at the beginning it's now the vanillas and the smokiness has come through and it's softened out the chocolate it's, the, it's more refined the chocolatey taste it's not as bitter not as harsh anymore so it goes to show how a beer as it warms up and develops can change in taste so look see if you can get hold of yourself a bottle of this you won't be disappointed it's absolutely absolutely spot on right um, so even if you can't get a 2013 get get a new bottle it's 13 percent you have a slightly stronger one it's going to be similar uh, in taste probably so look see if you can get hold of a bottle try it see what you think um, thank you, thank you so much, Joe Bice, for sending me this in. Okay. Um, so, look, <coughs> leave a comment below if you'd like the review. Give us a big thumbs up if you like it too. And of course, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.